Let's get out to the stadium. Meredith Morakovic standing by with the clubhouse report presented by your local Ford stores. And Meredith, anytime we have a doubleheader, day game, night game after a day game, I should say, there's always lineup questions. So set the table for us for the Yankees. Bob, there aren't really too many surprises when it comes to this game to line up. As expected, Kyle Higashioka is behind the plate, so Gary Sanchez will be available off the bench. Aaron Boone pretty much said he's going to ease him back into things, considering game one was his first game off of that COVID list. Aaron Judge, Will DH, and John Carlos Stanton is going to play right field. Luis Heal is the 27th man. He will get the ball in this one, and Jack talked about it a little bit. He's had a phenomenal start to his Yankees career, and it's pretty wild when you think about it. We may not have seen Heal at this level if the Yankees rotation was not hit with a slew of injuries. But taking a look at his first two starts, combined to go 11 innings, allowed just six hits, zero runs, and struck out 14 in the process. Aaron Boone and the Yankees could not ask for much more from the 23-year-old right-hander. I feel really good, you know, uh, prepared. Um, you know, I work really hard uh, to, to get here. And I feel relaxed going into, into the game tomorrow, you know, and uh, looking forward to the battle tomorrow. And, and how does he feel about, you know, being part of the, this Red Sox rivalry now? Obviously, th these games bring a lot more uh, to it, a lot more attention, a lot more at stake. And, and, and how does he feel about handling that part of it? It's a dream come through, uh, come true, uh, uh, face uh, Boston. Uh, I'll have that chance tomorrow, and I think, you know, as a team uh, working together, you know, we're looking forward to uh, uh, hopefully getting a, 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 a series win. And the Yankees have played a ton of close games lately. This afternoon's win was the 67th game that they played that was decided by one or two runs, and that is the most in the league. And really give the Yankees a ton of credit. When you look at the fact that 15 of their last 21 games were decided by one or two runs, they went 13-2 and two during that span. Now, one guy that would like to get in on that action is Anthony Rizzo, who is inching closer to a return. He was at the ballpark earlier today, and he worked out for the first time. Today is the first day I've really uh, kind of knocked out for solid six, seven days. So the last few days I just went on good walks, uh, stretched, but today doing all this feels a lot better than I expected. Are you worried about how you'll bounce back and how long it'll take to build yourself up, or do you think it'll happen pretty quick? Um, not too bad. Just just seeing pitches, really. Um, but I, I've, I've gone... A little bit of time missing and just bounce right back the next couple of days. So I'm um, not too uh, concerned, especially this late in the year. You've, you've put in all the work. It's kind of just muscle memory now. Your Yankees career got off to such a great start. Just how frustrating is it that you were forced to miss some of this time? It's tough just, just building the relationships with the guys and then kind of having to stall that. But watching the games on TV is, man, that's a lot more stressful than uh, being in a dugout and playing in them. So. But it's the guys have been playing amazing. Uh, can't just from a fan looking, and, and obviously I'm a part of it. But just the, the no quit and the guys and the team has, has been amazing to watch. Anthony Rizzo did some fielding work before game one and in between games he jumped in the cage did a little bit of hitting Aaron Boone said he wanted to see how he got through everything today before they made a determination on exactly when he would be back but you heard Anthony Rizzo say it he is close he does not think it'll be that much longer until he is back in that starting lineup another guy that is on the mend is Gio Urshela he has been out with a hamstring injury he also worked out prior to game one I caught up with Urshela to ask him how he's feeling and what the rehab process has been like for him. Feeling like much better. Um, just ran and took ground balls and feels really good. Aaron Boone said you're going to amp up the baseball activity this week. What's scheduled for tomorrow? Uh, for tomorrow, uh, for being honest, I don't know. So just got away, going to hit now and see how to feel. How much has it been killing you not being out there with your team and, and not being in the lineup? Uh, I mean, really, really sad uh, just watching the game. I'm just trying to, to get ready to, to get back to the field. What's going to tell you that you're ready and you're totally healed up? I mean, when I do, like, everything, like, full activities, all that, like, that's going gonna, gonna to know that, that I'm ready. Aaron Boone said you had a little bit of a setback a little while ago. What exactly happened there? 
Uh, yeah, I just feel a, a little bit like uh, the hamstring again, and I just wanted like uh, I do like too much and then uh, get it worse. So I just uh, took the, that for a couple of days and see how to feel. Now. At, at this point in time, how many rehab games do you think you would need? Probably one or two. No, not much. Almost ready to go? Almost ready.